Come here, cautious. No. So everybody knows that when my house caught on fire, I had to move out of there. Oh, so I had this stray cat that I adopted. Her name was Cautious the Cat. Meow. And she followed me all over the place. So I had to leave her for the last couple months while I found a place to stay. So I've come back for her to kidnap her and take her with me. It's like, got to be a slow process, though. I've been reading books on how to capture wild cats. And they're all about baby cats, not this grown sucker right here. No. Come here, cautious. Come here. Come here. Come here, cat. So, uh, I came over here. And, uh, picked her up and put her in the car. She doesn't like it that much. Come here. Come here, cat. Come here. Come here, cat. Come here. No! Come here, wild cat. So, uh, she gets along with Braveheart. These are my two strays. No! And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no book that I have read has talked about how to capture a grown cat. Uh, this is definitely a feral cat and she will kick your ass. So don't try this at home. I've known this cat ever since she was a little baby. And um, she, uh, she, um, I think I'm the only human she'll let touch her. Um, so I'm gonna get a uh, I'm gonna get a um, a cat box tomorrow, and I'm gonna get a um, some cat litter. Right back there is uh, Braveheart. What are you doing? Right back there is her uh, her cat crawl thing, her cat tree. And uh, I've got just about everything I need to capture her. So uh, I've given her a ride in the car two or three times. People ask me what happened to the cat. She's, um, she's doing well. And I'm gonna try to capture her and take her to my new place and um, see if she can, the reason I've hesitated in getting her is she's alive and well here in this neighborhood and she knows this neighborhood and she knows her boundaries and what she can do and she's never been any place. So I don't wanna take her someplace and then she runs away from me and then she's in a new area and a new territory and she gets hurt. So when I capture her, I want to make sure that I I can I can keep her and and hold her until such time as she gets used to me. And then if she doesn't get used to to me in the new place, then I'm gonna bring her back here and let her go and just come by and feed her and stuff. But she will let me she'll let me pick her up. So this is how I captured her. I she lets me pick her up like that. So when you pick a cat up like that, they go to they go to sleep. So as soon as you lift her up off the ground, she goes into this like catatonic sleep like state. And that's how I was able to actually get her in the car. And um, will you be quiet? And uh, so for those of you who have wondered how the cat's doing, oh, she's doing just fine. Are you doing just fine? Huh? Are you doing just fine? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You 
you're doing just fine. Uh, precious pretty thing. Get out of my water. Get out of my water. That's my water. No one can see you, you're so dark. I don't have a good light. Look at those pretty eyes. Huh? See those pretty eyes? You've done well. This cat stayed, oh, when the house got on fire, the cat went and hid under the bed. And she must have nine lives because she didn't come out until every fireman was gone. So, she's doing fine. I see her every couple of days. Every two or three days, I stop by and check on her. And now I have finally got the place prepared to try to capture her and uh, see if we can capture this feline, if, if it's even possible. Anyone that's captured a wild cat, please let me know. You can hit me up on Black Dragon at BlackSabbathMC.com and tell me how to do this, because I am absolutely clueless. Um, I just have her heart. I know she loves me, or she tolerates me. But uh, is she gonna go live in a new house? I have no damned idea. So, that's the capturing of Cautious the Cat. I name her Cautious because her, her story is really kind of sad. Um, she was born under the community mailboxes and um, the management staff that manages the grounds decided that they didn't want any more cats there and they called the cat people and they killed her entire family. Mother, all her brothers and sisters, she had about seven. And she is the last survivor because she is the most cautious animal on earth. That's why I call her Cautious the Cat. What? You don't like it? You don't like it in here? <laughs> you don't like it? You want out? Yeah. You want out, don't you? So, uh, when I saw her as a baby, my next door neighbor would feed her and she would follow him around the neighborhood. So I made up my mind uh, when he stopped taking care of her that I would. And it took me like six months just to be able to touch this damn cat. It took at least six months. So the fact that um, the fact that she is um, here and now, and when I first found the dog Braveheart, um, I wondered if the two of them would get along because Cautious was staying. Oh, oh, sorry, Cautious was staying with me at the time. Uh, she well, she'd come every couple of days and stay a night or two and then be gone. So. They, uh, they never fought, and I don't know, the two of them hang out together. So that's my story of Cautious, and tomorrow I'm going to come back and get her tomorrow and do my dead level best to capture her and bring her into the home. I read this thing about feral cats. They can live just fine on their own as she has been doing but they say they have a much longer lifespan uh, if they are in captivity. So we got to get her her shots and all oh, everything. It's going to be it's going to be interesting. So that's Cautious the cat. Cautious! Cautious! Meow! Meow! You have to talk to her like that. She understands meowing. If you meow to her, she'll meow, she'll meow back. Meow! Meow! She even understands, come here. Come here. Come here, Cautious. Come here, man. 
not you. Cautious. Cautious. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I can't. If somebody knows me, call me. Then I can see all of your. Uh, I can see all of your um, comments. I can't see your comments right now. I'm really sleepy. <sighs> but uh, I had to come see my cat um, before I went home and went to bed. And just wanted to get her in the car. I wonder if we take a drive around the block. I wonder what she'll say. Okay, so... Whoa! Did you step in my water, really? Okay, I got everybody. Okay, my cat is... My cat is bipolar. And a psychopath. Wouldn't trade him, though. <laughs> uh, get some rest. While I get ready for work. Okay, you guys called me. Yeah, a little kitty makes makes me sleep better too. Yeah, the cat is great to sleep with. Oh, I see you guys have been talking to me. Uh, what's up, Paul? Harley? What's up with you guys? The Rock Drifter? Ironhead? You stepped in my water. I can't drink it now. It's your little nasty ass feet. Um. What's up, Black Dragon? From Kokomo. What's up, guys? Good evening. The Outcast, how are you? What's up, Sonny? Just uh, trying to uh, capture my cat here. I didn't really want a cat or a dog. I mean, I don't want you guys to think like I wanted this. Like, this guy won't even get out of the way. I can't even drive the car. But, um, shit. But, um, I don't know. They just drifted into my life. They're drifters. And they just drifted into my life, so here they are now. So I'm driving the car, and the cat's not meowing or crying or nothing. That's, uh-oh, I spoke too soon. Meow! I don't see my cat. So uh, we're driving, we're doing good. The cat's not going crazy like I thought it might. So, uh, we're doing good, and he's in his old neighborhood, so he's having fun. Oh, we're doing good. Someone said, uh, I'm good. New sub to your channel. I've really been digging on the info you speak. Thank you for the knowledge. Thank you. I'm not seeing too good tonight. I don't know what's going on. Everything is kind of fuzzy. Um, and I don't wear glasses, so maybe I should. Can you move? Hey, can you? Can you move? I'm reading the screen. Move. Okay, let's see. Some, someone says I'm off. Good evening. Okay, Wolves, Liberty MC. Wolves of Liberty MC, will you move? Will you move? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you don't want those dogs over there. The one good thing about pets is... They will love you unconditionally. <laughs> yes, they will. 
What's up, Nicholas? So for those of you who are new or just got on, I'm trying to capture my cat. And this is a test to see if the cat will actually ride in the car with old silly one back here chasing all the animals from inside the car. So this will be a test to see if um, the cat will ride. And it looks like the cat is riding. Um, someone says I've been watching your videos, dragging a lot of good knowledge. Help us to see how other clubs work. I'm glad you guys watch. I definitely appreciate it. If uh, if they are drifters, then they need to make them meetings. <laughs> oh, definitely. Let's see. Been watching for the last few weeks. Uh, it's been great info knowledge. Salute from the Click MC. Thank you for watching. Um, very much. Ironhead says, uh, I always had to cover my cat with a blanket. Calmed him down. This one here seems, she seems to be doing, I don't even know where she disappeared back there somewhere. So, I believe that she will go for the ride tomorrow. She's been on her own now for a few weeks and Maybe she thinks it's better to be with me. If, uh, hi everyone. It's uh, 10 20 a.m. here. Oh, that's Nicholas Gomez, and I'm off to get some work done. Over there, uh, across the water, on the uh, island. Take care, Black Dragon. Bye bye, man. So everyone, I appreciate you watching. I just thought I would come on and so many people ask about the cat. So that's what's going on with the cat. And um, I'm gonna roll the window down when I get over here and get parked and see if she jumps out of it. Maybe she's just back there asleep. Uh, I'm sure it's tough out here on a cat. And um, maybe I just take her with me tonight. I don't know where she is. She's only me out two times. So we're going to kidnap her and take her with us so she can come and live with me and Braveheart and have a nice, long, happy nine lives. You guys have a great one. Thanks for watching. Uh, somebody said, put your seatbelt on. <laughs> I'm. Yes, this is true. I need to do that. I am so tired. Okay, so I brought her back to her neighborhood. Where she was born. And we will let her depart if she wants to go. What I'll do is I'll roll the window down see if she jumps out of it. Meow! She must be sleeping back there or something. Uh, but there are there are bungee cords. Oh wow. Um, good night everyone. And you guys take care and uh, have a great evening. And don't forget to get skinny. <laughs>